Today's question is what are the parts of a circle? A circle is a set of all points that are equidistant from a given point called the center of the circle. A chord is a line segment whose endpoints are on the circle. The diameter is the distance across the circle through its center. It's also known as the longest chord. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. Here are the radius and diameter formulas. The radius is equal to the diameter divided by two, and the diameter is equal to two times the radius. If the radius is 12, what is the diameter? Diameter is equal to radius times two. So for the red circle, the diameter would be 24. For the yellow circle, the diameter is equal to 32. Therefore, the radius is the diameter divided by two. So the radius would be 16. 32 divided by two is 16. If the diameter is 9 for the green circle, the radius again is the diameter div divided by 2. So 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. And for the blue circle, the radius is 6. Diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. So 2 times 6 gives us 12. Use circle P to determine whether each statement is true or false. Number one, line segment RT is a diameter. Line segment RT is a chord. However, that chord does not go through the center of the circle. Therefore, it is not the diameter. So this statement is false. Number two, Line segment PS is a radius. That is true. Line segment PS goes from the center of the circle to a point S, which is on the circle. P is the center of the circle and S is a point on the circle. Therefore, that line segment is a radius. Statement number two is true. Number three, line segment QT is a chord. Line segment QT goes from one endpoint of the circle to another endpoint on the circle. 
Therefore, it is a chord. It's also the diameter. A secant line is a line that intersects a circle at exactly two points. The difference between a secant line and a chord is that the secant line is a line, whereas a chord is a line segment. tangent line is a line that intersects a circle at exactly one point. point of tangency is the point where the tangent line intersects the circle. A radius can be drawn from the point of tangency to the center of the circle and this radius forms a 90 degree angle with the tangent line. Name the turn that best describes the notation. The red line is a secant line. The purple line segment is a radius. The blue line segment is a diameter, which is a type of chord. The green line is just a chord. Finally, the black line is a tangent line. Students should now be able to identify and define the parts of a circle.